down to the final three awards of the evening, the first of which will be the Chief's Award of Excellence. Now, this award is given to members of the Hamilton Police Service and community members who go above and beyond normal expectations. And these are special acts of compassion, support, quality service that are worthy of recognition. Congratulations to former Hamilton Police Service Board Vice Chair Fred Benick. Tonight, we'd like to take a moment to express our profound gratitude as Fred makes his way to the stage to a truly remarkable individual as his term on the Hamilton Police Service Board comes to an end. His journey with Hamilton Police Service began as an auxiliary member before eventually becoming a board member. And throughout Fred's tenure, he was not just a member of the board, but a pillar of strength and reliability. His enthusiasm for our service and his belief and value of policing was evident in his frequent participation in ride-alongs, parades, offering first-hand insight into the daily challenges and triumphs faced in day-to-day -day policing. Beyond his work on the Hamilton Police Services Board, Fred was also a familiar face at the board and community events, never missing an opportunity to bridge the gap between policing and the public. One more time, let's hear it for Fred Benick. Thank you very much, Fred. The Leonard G. Lawrence Award, that's where we're moving to next. And to help present to this award, we'd like to bring up from the uh, Hamilton Chamber of Commerce, a Vice President of Advocacy and Operations, Drina Omazic. This annual award recognizes outstanding work by an individual officer or a group of police officers who best exemplify tremendous, uh, tremendous service to our community. It was created in memory of former Hamilton Police Chief Leonard Lawrence. He served from 1952 to 1973 and fostered a strong sense of duty and commitment to this great community of ours. The recipient is selected by a committee consisting of representatives from the Hamilton Chamber of Commerce, the Police Services Board, and the Hamilton Police Association. This year, there are four deserving nominees. Starting with Constable James Durka. In January 2017, James's wife Jessica was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and received effective medical treatment at Jervinsky Cancer Center, leading to remission in 2018. Grateful for the care provided, James and Jessica founded the Jervinsky Cancer Center Pumpkin Patch in Waterford. Great little city, by the way. In May 2018, aiming to donate all proceeds to the center, they not only secured and donated land, James took on the task of preparation, planting, managing the pumpkins despite no formal agricultural training. Facing challenges like adverse weather and crop disease, they successfully cultivated and sold hundreds of pumpkins, setting up and managing the sales stand themselves. James even used his own holiday time to ensure that the stand was operating during peak times. From 2018 to 2022, the Durkas dedicated countless volunteer hours to this initiative, raising a total of $245,000 for the Cancer Center. Of course, that money significantly aided the community members affected by cancer, and this project has now continued on by a new group of volunteers. So one more time, a big thanks to the Durkas for their dedication and hard work. Thank you so much, James. <laughs> project Odeon, Hamilton Police Service, along with the Ontario Provincial Police, York Regional Police, Toronto Police Service, and several other law enforcement agencies dismantled a significant producer of fentanyl and other synthetic drugs in the greater Hamilton and Toronto area. Project Odeon began after police discovered a clandestine laboratory during an overdose death investigation back in November of 2021 at a residence on Hamilton's mountain. Investigators subsequently suspected a link between this death 
and an earlier overdose resulting in hospitalization and death at a Toronto condominium. These all occurred within days of each other. Opioid addiction has resulted in significant and far-reaching impacts right here in Hamilton and beyond. And like many other communities across the GTHA, Hamilton has been grappling with this devastating consequences of the opioid epidemic. This investigation had a significant impact on reducing harms and improving public safety. One more time for Project Odeon. Going to be now moving on, Sergeant Alan Schultz. Alan Schultz is a seasoned law enforcement professional with an illustrious 23-year career serving with the Hamilton Police Service. As a dedicated member, Alan has displayed unwavering commitment and exceptional leadership in his role as a patrol sergeant. From the inception of his policing journey, Schultz has been a faithful supporter of charitable initiatives, particularly those benefiting the Special Olympics. His involvement with the law enforcement torch run spans over two decades, aligning closely with his time in policing. And back in 2013, his commitment reached new heights when he joined the internal committee of the Hamilton Police Service Law Enforcement Torch Run. Through his active involvement in the committee, Allen has played a pivotal role in orchestrating various fundraising events and community engagements, further cementing his reputation as a compassionate leader within the service. Let's hear it one more time for Sergeant Alan Schultz. And our final nominee for this prestigious award is Constable Jay Venables. Constable Venables has shown a deep commitment to a victim-centered approach in his policing career, recognizing the significant impact of personal touch in times of crisis. He has losses between 2019 and 2023. His outreach typically occurs around Christmas, providing families with cards, chocolates, and applicable gift certificates for children, all funded by himself. His approach to these families is tailored to recognize that each victim's needs are unique and that the trauma associated with sudden death is profound and long-lasting. And by making these personal connections to these families, he is not only bringing a positive light during dark times, but also strengths and community policing relationships. His initiatives are inspired and have inspired squad members to adopt similar practices. And with that said, Constable Jay Venables, thank you so much for all your work and dedication. <laughs> and now that all the nominees have been announced, the winner is Project Odeon. The following individuals make their way up here to accept the award, Inspector Ben Thibodeau. Detective Sergeant Gary Heron, Detective Eric Hurab, and Detective James Clayton. Come on up here, folks. And as they make their way up here, let's take a look at this short video highlighting Project Odeon.
one more time, folks. I think I didn't call up all these names. I only called up four. So I, I'm surrounded now. So hey, folks, I'm going to get out of the way. Let's have a big hand for them. Projok Odeon. It's now time to announce the 2023 Member of the Year. And this is where we're going to be reaching out to Mr. Steve Foxcroft of Fluke Transportation Group. If he could please join us on stage to assist in presenting our last award. Steve, where's your first game? What's, what's the date? Week, week one. Week one, okay, good stuff. All right, folks, our member of the month represents incredible acts of bravery, methodically solved investigations, and of course, relentlessly pursued offenders. There are narratives of real events right here in Hamilton, where Hamilton police members have displayed courage and of course, incredible, incredible resilience. You have all heard, or you've all had the opportunity, I should say, to hear the amazing and courageous work displayed by our members of the month. Each member deserves our thanks and recognition for going above and beyond the call of duty. And at this time, I'd like all members of the month to stand up and be recognized. Please stand up briefly, folks. Looking good, looking good. Now, one of these 12 winners will receive the prestigious honor of being named member or members of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to announce the 2023 member of the year, Constable Dominic DiCenzo. Come on up here, Dominic, and congratulations. One more time, Dominic DiCenzo, thank you so much. Congratulations on this well-deserved recognition for your years of service.